Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Blender 2.83. So, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and inside the search we'll type in Blender 3D. Let's go to the Blender website. When we get to here, we've got this blue button here. It says download Blender 2.83. Let's click that and then we'll get some options here. Now as default, the website will try to detect what sort of operating system you're using and here it's saying do you want to download the Windows installer which is correct for me you can click on this drop down and you can select other operating systems so if you're using uh, Mac or Linux you can select some of these other options here as well I'm gonna go ahead and click the download button here download blender 2.83 let's click that and if you wait a few seconds it should start to download the file it's 135 meg so it'll take a few seconds for me to download but let's go ahead and just push this to this side here and we'll open up this folder on my desktop and we'll wait for this to finish so it's finished downloading let's drag and drop that to this folder we can close down the web browser now and we'll be left with this file that we've just downloaded so to install this we'll just double click on the file here and we'll follow the procedure so we can see on this little splash screen it's asking us to press next let's go ahead and do that we'll accept the terms and click next and then we'll click next here and then we'll click install okay so blend is finished installing so let's click the finish button and I always like to test blender before um, I confirm that everything's working correctly so let's just go ahead you've got an icon here uh, that will put in your desktop normally I'll get rid of that to be honest I don't really like that having that there um, I have it pinned here so I'm not sure if this pin will work because this is for an older version but let's just go to the start menu you can see blender here as well you can drag and drop that into your um, options here so you can execute it or access it from here for now I'll unpin this one I'm just going to unpin it from the taskbar I'll right click here and I'll go to more options and pin to taskbar so now I can see it on my taskbar here as well this is where I like to access a lot of the tools that I use quite frequently right so now we can just go to the taskbar click here and we'll see blender will load up let's give it a few seconds and we can see we're running 2.83 so we've got a different splash screen now it's quite interesting that you've got these different options in here but as default you know this is pretty much standard stuff um, from before but now you've got these different themes as well so you can switch between different themes uh, this is quite new as well in blender and it also changes so it depends on um, your preferences I prefer to just leave it as the dark version that kind of works best for me um, and you can just click save new settings or you can reload you can reload the previous settings right the default settings let's go ahead and click save save and then you'll get into these settings here so you've got general 2d sculpting vfx video editing stuff like that you've got access to the manual here which is quite important but nine times out of ten when you're using blender you're going to be just doing general work so just click general then you're in the general 3d port so you can see you can move around and navigate i'll put a link in the youtube description to some tutorials for blender so if you've never used it before um you can go ahead and check um, some tutorials that I've made you can also go to my blog so if you open up the web browser and if you go to dcpweb.co.uk slash blog when you get to my blog if you click on the drop down and go to blender 3d tutorials here you can click here then you can see some of the tutorials like doing particle effects and creating 3d text these ones here are quite good to learn some of the basic stuff um, in blender and I'll be adding lots more tutorials here to my blog for blender you can see all the different tutorials I have here for all the different applications right so it's not just blender you've got loads of different variations of software so do go check out my blog which is at dcpweb.co.uk slash blog so everything seems to be working in here let's just double check by clicking on this cube and deleting it we'll press shift and a and let's just add something else let's add a uv sphere so we can see that let's just scale it everything seems to be working here pretty well in blender I don't see any issues um, I don't really have any problems using blender it all seems to work well for me so yep let's just do a test render f12 we can see our little sphere here okay so that's how you go about installing blender 2.83 onto Windows 10 you can follow that same logic using your other operating systems I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial <laughs>